What's up guys, welcome to a Bad's Lab. Today I'm going to be showing you my lab and all the equipment I use in my videos. For my lab, I'm using an unused kitchen area in my basement. Alright, what's up guys, welcome to my lab. Um, in this general area, I usually uh, set up solutions. Uh, don't usually run to reactions or syntheses here, since there's not that good ventilation in my basement. As you guys see, I most, uh, do most of my stuff outside. Um, over here, I have a sink for uh, you know washing the glassware and stuff. A little bit of a drying area. Um, and then goggles, protective eyewear is necessary. Uh, nitrile gloves, some paper towels, you know, cleaning stuff up around the lab. And these cups, I usually use to measure things on my scale. Um, over here, I keep my hot plate. It's gotten a little dirty from my winter green video, but it gets a job done. Um, it doesn't support a magnetic stir rod, which would suck. And over, starting over here, this is where I keep all of my um, acids. So phosphoric acid, hydrochloric acid, and salicylic acid, which I used in my winter green video. And over here, I have distilled water, which gets uh, used a lot in the experiments. And over here, I keep most of my glassware and equipment. So three Erlenmeyer flasks, three beakers, uh, that gets the job done for things. And I have pipettes at the top and some filter paper. And over here I have three funnels. All you really need is one, but it came in a set of three. And I have this uh, kitchen scale, which uh, gets the job done for um, measuring things out at a small scale, a precise scale, and in a lab. So I have a mortar and pestle, which uh, it's good for grinding things up, making, making the reaction rate faster. And um, I have a bunch of stir rods over here. And coming over here, I have all of the things I've collected throughout the lab. So hydrogen peroxide, it's not pure at all, it's only like 5%. And then sodium hypochlorite, which is bleach. Acetone, which I have from pale, uh, nail polish remover. Magnesium sulfate, Epsom salt. Sodium bichlorate, uh, bicarbonate is just baking soda. And sodium carbonate, uh, sodium chloride is just uh, normal salt. Um, over here, I have all the things I've collected throughout the lab, uh, throughout my experiments. So, you guys remember from my first video, I made capsaicin. It's over here. And over here, for my winter green video, some methyl salicylate. Um, some salicylic acid as precipitate at the bottom. I might filter it out further in the future. And for my caffeine video, uh, this one sucked. Not pure at all. All right, and this is where I keep uh, like all my other test tubes for the future. All right, and over here I have a bunch of markers and stuff for my uh, for the videos. You guys know I use the whiteboard over there, and over here I keep uh, the, these are great for showing the molecular structure of things. You guys know I show that in the beginning of some of my videos, and this is a notebook I use for. Um, for you know, planning out my videos, trying to understand what I'm gonna say, my procedure, stuff like that. And finally, you guys know I do a bunch of stuff on the whiteboard over here. Set my tripod on this uh, stand over here, explain some things uh, such as the reaction, the equipment, and the procedure I'm gonna do on my video. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you enjoyed the video. Also, feel free to comment any video suggestions or any questions down in the comment section. And stay tuned for my next video where I react hydrochloric acid and aluminum.